The British Army's Challenger is arguably the most powerful tank in the world today, just as Chieftain was before it. Work had begun on a successor to Chieftain as soon as it started entering service. But after a long, drawn-out development period with rapidly rising costs, the MBT-80, as it was known, was abandoned. By this time, though, an improved Chieftain was in production for export to Iran. When the Shah was toppled by the Ayatollahs, the British Army was able to buy these tanks, renamed Challenger. The first difference between Chieftain and Challenger lies in the latter's 1,200 horsepower Rolls-Royce engine. This is nearly twice as powerful as the Leyland L60 power pack. So although Challenger is some seven tons heavier than Chieftain, it is more mobile. Top speed is given as 35 miles per hour, but range has not been disclosed. The increased power coupled to a new hydrogas suspension system gives greater reliability and a smoother ride. Main armament is the same 120 mm L11A5 rifle gun as on the Chieftain, although a new high pressure version is under development. This means both tanks share the same ammunition. Challenger was the first tank in the world to be fitted with the revolutionary Chobham armor, which provides protection equal to four times the thickness of conventional hardened steel, but weighs considerably less. As you would expect, Challenger's gun is fully stabilized to permit accurate firing while on the move. There is a fully integrated fire control system and laser rangefinder, and Challenger is also being retrofitted with TOGS, the thermal observation and gunnery system for night firing. Secondary armament comprises a coaxial and an anti-aircraft machine gun. Conventional smoke dischargers are being replaced by a new system which protects the tank from infrared as well as visual observation. The high mobility of such a heavily armed and armored vehicle unquestionably makes it one of the best tanks in the world, if not the best. What about the future? The tank is constantly evolving and the next generation for the year 2000 and beyond may look radically different. The idea of the turretless tank is gaining vogue. The crew would all sit in the well-protected fighting compartment while directing the gun, which would have full 360-degree traverse in a small, unmanned cupola. The tank would be driven and the gun aimed and fired by means of panoramic zoom lens video cameras coupled to a laser rangefinder and computerized control systems an automatic loader would be essential. Given this sort of configuration, the gun could possibly be given enough elevation to allow it to double as an anti-aircraft weapon, but this would mean finding room in the vehicle for target acquisition and tracking radars. The ultimate tank may in fact be entirely unmanned, a robot vehicle remotely controlled by a crew sitting safely in a bunker miles away. But self-styled experts have been saying the same about the manned combat aircraft for decades. And there is still no real replacement for the man on the spot. <laughs>